Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Great to have you back. And we have a very interesting topic today. Why are planets troubling me? <laughs> I'm at a hotel today in a different city, as you can see in my back. So the audio will not be very good because I do not have a microphone. So please excuse me for that. But why are planets troubling me? See, the planets are troubling me so much. I do not have a microphone today, right? How terrible life is. <laughs> uh, planets are troubling me because uh, I don't... Uh, and because of that, I don't have a job. I'm not getting married. I have a bad health. I am not able to complete my degree. I'm not able to get this certification. I'm not able to uh, clear this entrance exam. Uh, I'm not able to get this scholarship that uh, or that grant. PhD is not happening. Masters is not happening. Bachelors is not happening. Marriage is not happening. Childbirth is not happening. Home purchase, car purchase. Did I miss something? <laughs> <clears throat> so why are these cruel uh, planets troubling us, right? So in astrology, we know who are the cruel malefics. We have we have. <laughs> Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, they are malefics and also Surya and Mangal, although they are Suras, but they uh, can make life very tough sometimes, okay? But that is for good reasons. But the question is, why are they troubling us? Uh, well, before that, we need to know if they are troubling us at all. So, whenever people say, uh, see, why this happens is because uh, there are many astrology apps, I will not take names, and there are many astrologers who keep creating this fear aapka shani bigda hua hai your uh, your mangal is not letting you get married mangal aapka vivah nahi hone de raha hai and all, all this they will keep saying or they will say ye gochar kharab hai this transit is bad you know this is good that is bad this is not favorable for you that is not favorable for you <clears throat> but they miss one fundamental uh, thing which is the planets do not give uh, anything which is outside of our karma. So it's like whenever you do something wrong, um, then the police will come and catch you, right? So is the police come and catching you for no reason? Uh, well, can you say the police is responsible for my misery? Well, not necessarily. It could happen sometimes, very rarely, but in God's uh, system of justice, aka law of karma, it doesn't happen. So which means whenever a planet is indicating some difficulty or some challenge in our life, it, it simply means that regarding the traits which that planet represents, we have messed it in the past, in the past lifetime or in the previous lifetimes, most likely previous lifetimes. So because of that, what is happening is we are now, see, law of karma is the uh, act of balance. So, Whenever we did something wrong, now somebody else is coming and doing the same to us. And then we say, oh, I, I had a breakup in during Shani Dasha, right? Shani is that cruel uh, planet which is giving me suffering, right? So when we blame the planets, what happens is we disassociate our responsibility from our problems, which means we can never improve because... Whenever you say Shani is giving me problems, Shani ke wajay se zindagi narak ho gai hai meri. <laughs> then you are getting away from responsibility. You are saying that, oh, there is some fancy element or whatever that is, you know, planet or star or whatever you say, graha or whatever, some random entity, <laughs> some very big entity, huge uh, celestial entity sitting there who is so jobless, who has nothing else to do other than seeing me suffer right so do you think that the grahas and uh, or whatever you call them you know like planets or stars or, some, or whatever some celestial energy or you, you can call god or devata or graha or whatever uh, vedic or uh, christian or whatever you 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 can name them as you want but do you think they are so jobless and so stupid and so mindless that they will give you suffering for no reason well certainly not right so therefore <clears throat> The Vedic scriptures explain that the planets do not give us suffering. They just reflect our good karma and our bad karma. Okay, So therefore, if you take them in that spirit, you will do wonders with astrology. So for example, 
<laughs> whenever you go to a consultation with an astrologer so this can work at both the ends this can work this can work for an astrologer or it can and it can also work for a client okay so for example <clears throat> if you are an astrologer and you tell them oh your shani is problematic then what the person thinks oh maybe you know uh, yeah this that shani is nice bad good bad good bad so the, the, the client can't benefit right the client is not benefited if the client hears that my shani is problematic instead of that you can say well uh, my dear sir you need to cultivate some discipline and some structure and some order in your life you need to work hard that is what the astrologer should say then the person actually understands what i should do in my life to improve this or else if you just say or as a client you go and ask an astrologer oh, sir or madam can you please tell me which planets are problematic for me right oh yeah your shani is problematic your mangal is problematic your uh, guru is problematic or so and so planet is bad for you right and then what's the next question the client asks you immediately he asks you okay sir thank you so much for telling me my problematic planets can you tell me the remedy okay you have to go to haridwar or banaras or you know kanchi puram you can go to vrindavan and do this do that ye karo wo karo and then the person uh, the person does it but then what happens does it benefit them well yes doing remedies uh, externally uh, superficially will benefit you to a certain extent you know you will get some good karma if you do some donation or fasting and all this but does you but does it change you internally does it make you a better person well no not necessarily right so whenever you go to an astrologer you should always ask them that sir or madam what should i do tell me at least one thing if not five tell me at least one thing that i should do to improve my life at least one so and you should do that for three months once you do it then you should give a feedback to the astrologer that yes sir you said that i should do this and now i am doing this and now i actually see some tangible benefits in my life so the astrologer's job is to find out which areas you need to improve in life there is no perfect human being there cannot be there perfection is an illusion and when we are talking of perfection we are talking of like actual perfection right so therefore whenever you go to an astrologer please understand that your agenda should be to benefit your life holistically okay now there's nothing wrong in going for a career consultation or a marriage consultation there's nothing wrong if you want specialized guidance in specific areas perfectly fine that's correct nothing wrong with it but even within those areas if you ask like uh, if you ask an astrologer okay when can i get married how will be my married life people end at these two questions but then they never has the third question which is maybe even more important then getting married or then getting to know how is your married life and that question is you know how can i improve my marriage or even one step ahead of that is how can i improve myself so that i can be a good uh, husband or wife or uh, yeah a partner so that they don't ask they, they, they will just want to know when when the marriage is happening if at all it's happening and then how will be my marriage so so it, it's very uh, disassociated from reality so so the, uh, when when a person asks he feels okay so my marriage will take place july next year hmm okay very good and how will be my marriage first 10 years it is good uh, next 10 years it is bad maybe or uh, whatever and then the remaining 30 years it is good so 50 years done done and dusted but then that would anyways happen in your life right even if you didn't come to an astrologer that would have anyways happened right so what was the need of going to the astrologer in the first place if that is what you came to know which is something you would have anyways experienced okay and same is with profession okay so whenever you go for profession uh, you you should ask what kind of a career will be suitable for me what am i lacking in my professional life which i should do or not professionally externally but within myself you know I, I, what should i do in a way that I, i can get a better job or i can start my business or i can 
get more income you know parallel income two income or three income sources whatever that that can be anything depending on your desire okay <clears throat> so therefore please understand that when you go to an astrologer you have to understand that i am i will have to take some responsibility after this consultation otherwise what happens is you will you will go to the same astrologer every year okay of course if there is some emergency or there is something very critical happening in your life which is like requiring very important attention then you can go it's like some landmark is happening in your life you know some something new is happening every year then you can go nothing wrong with it or you can go to an astrologer every year to update your progress you know how am i progressing every year there are many people who do that so after one year they come back to me and to other astrologers and they say okay yes sir uh, this is my progress this is where i am unable to uh, do what i did last time uh, this is where i am going down and this is where i am improving and how can i improve further okay so <clears throat> therefore you have to understand that if you go to an astrologer expecting just futuristic predictions without feeling the need to take any responsibility for self improvement uh, well you are mistaken because then you will i won't say just waste your time and money but even if you get some predictions it will not be of much use for you okay so therefore people uh, are very much interested in doing like going to astrologers you know paying a lot of money getting consultations doing podcasts doing remedies doing religious remedies which is perfectly fine nothing against it but you have to understand that you have to develop some order and discipline in your life without that it can't happen you have to have the basic traits of every planet okay so for example uh, surya surya is like you know the light you have to have some light in your own life what is the light light means clarity direction goal aim purpose this, this is what is the sun right and then moon moon is like ability to feel for another person and empathy compassion love ecstasy joy happiness suffering so these these are things moon represents the emotions that the, if if you are deaf and dumb emotionally then how can you expect that you will be a good partner right if you are dangling in extreme so you, your your married life won't be good if you if you do not have purpose if you do not you know, cultivate good direction in life you will have a terrible career okay because you may get things because of your good destiny but you will screw it up eventually or other right then mercury mercury is communication you have to be able to talk and uh, so so the basic things you you have to master for every planet okay rahu is thinking out of the box sometimes things may not go as per your expectations and uh, it may backfire then what do you do do you panic and do you release everything that you uh, had or do you just collapse or what do you do or you, do you take irreligious uh, means right unethical unlawful means to fulfill your desire so what do you do when you face uh, difficulty or like you know and what do you do when there is a requirement of discipline when saturn is involved what do you do so therefore you have to understand that every planet will demand responsibility from you if if you if you cannot take responsibility then it is of not much use to go to any an astrologer so therefore not that you should not go but go and take responsibility for your actions okay and every year you should keep updating your astrologer you can just send a simple mail just just a simple mail will do you don't have to book yearly consultations monthly quarterly weekly you don't have to do all this <clears throat> unless there is some emergency or disaster in your life but if you went to an astrologer last year and you got a career consultation or a marriage consultation you should update the astrologer that sir you said i am lacking this 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 and now i did all this now how am i progressing how much better is my career instead of asking oh when will i get a job only right so it, then then you can say right okay uh, so i have done whatever you said well now can you tell me when a uh, good dasha is coming where i am likely to get some opportunities by dint of my luck or destiny or whatever but if you do not do any anything yourself if you don't do the hard work in the first place then what's the use of getting the job right because eventually 3 months 6 months 1 year 
either you will be fired or you will not be able to get promotion because you can't deliver or you can't uh, do what is expected, right? So therefore, the one thing you should do every year is send an email to your astrologer and preferably you should have only one astrologer, okay? Because uh, my Shiksha Guru once said, you have one mother, one father, one husband, one wife, and then children, of course, you can have many. <laughs> but Guru is one, God is one, and astrologer also should preferably be one, okay? Yes, scriptures say that, but in case you feel that uh, you have had a good relationship with an astrologer, but that astrologer is not able to benefit you in your life after several attempts, then you can go to another astrologer. There's nothing wrong with it. But let's stick to one because that relationship is incremental and uh, it's like compound interest, <laughs> right? All right, that will be all from my side. If you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation, my website is down below in the description section, exoticastrology.in. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and stop blaming planets for your misery <laughs> thank you